Let's do this. What's up, guys? War here. Welcome back, as always. So we're in D4. We have hit level 20. You can, uh, once you get to the main town of Kovioshad, you can go down here to the uh, Veriko, Veroka, Veroka, the alchemist. The alchemist can upgrade potions, craft elixirs, and uh, incense and refine your resources. So you first get access to this when you have level 1, and then once you hit level 10, this is where it really opens up and you can increase your, um, your levels. Right um, as you increase these, they do cost resources to upgrade them, like Gala Wine, Bite Berry, Crush Beast Bones. These potions are very important when you're going through the game. Now, with the beta, we're only access to level 20, but as you can see, they cost more and more resources, but they do more things. They increase, you know, they heal more life and they heal maximum life over... Uh, three seconds, which is really really nice. So while you're out playing the game, you need to be gathering the world materials like Galawine, Bite Berry, etc. So these are really really good, and you can just as soon as you hit the level, you can just spend the resources and upgrade. Now, what else is great about this is crafting elixirs. Elixirs are additional bonuses and like kind of like small power ups that you can do in a way. You can craft as many of these as you have the resources for. As you can see, I can craft 16 weak elixirs of cold resistance. And then you increase cold resist by 15% and EXP by 5% for 30 minutes. But you can only have one elixir active at a time. So you kind of like pick and choose. As you continue to level up and you find more stuff, you can craft more elixirs. For me, the iron barb elixir is really good because it increases armor. The thorns damage is okay if you're a barbarian, but the EXP on a lot of these is just really good. Dodge percent in, um, increase is really good as well. So I would advise just crafting these as you go along. I'm going to craft a few here. Let's craft five. And it also costs our gold, so make sure you be mindful of that because gold is a huge resource that you need in this game. So you can craft these. They're going to be found on your consumables. And you just right click to spend it, and it will pop up down here. So let's go in. Let's craft another one. So we got another 30 minutes of EXP, armor increase, and thorn uh, thorns increased, which is really nice. The next thing that this alchemist can do is craft materials. So if you're finding a lot of Galawine, for example, and let's say you need Bite Berry, you know, you can spend the Galawine to make Bite Berry. So when you go to craft certain elixirs, like if I wanted a weak elixir of assault to increase my attack speed, well, I need life spains. I need two more. So let's see if they're on here. Let's see if I can find one. Life Spains. So I can spend the Galawine to make two more Life Spains. Right? Now I can go back and make an Elixir. Which is really cool. So there's going to be some depending on each act as we get the full release of the game. Each act is going to have different magic crafting materials that you can find. And you're going to be able to use these interchange interchangeably to increase and you know craft some that you don't that you don't have or you need more of and that way you can use it to craft elix elixirs so the alchemist is a very very good uh addition to this game and i think it's very important to upgrade your healing the one thing that i don't like is the very small limitation on potions but so far it seems like the increase in how much health it restores is very good um, it scales very well with how many potions you actually receive. So you start off with four, and then you can go in and, uh, what is it? Look at your fractured peaks. So you can go in, and each act is going to have renown that you can earn, which allows you to claim these items. And at this one, which was 300, you get another potion charge. So it gave me five. In each act, you're going to have renown that you can earn for the maps. And they should give more potions. So it scales pretty well. So at first I didn't like it. But because I'm used to Diablo 3. Where you have infinite potions just on a cooldown. But the potions in here. Even with a small charge increase. Is actually really good. So the alchemist the is definitely one thing you need to be utilizing. Especially the elixirs. These are just added benefits. That don't cost a whole lot to craft and make. And even, like, you may not think about, like, increasing attack speed by 7% for 30 minutes. That's actually a huge buff. It's a huge buff on top of, you know, all of your uh, other additions that you have built in on your character. So make sure you utilize the um, Alchemist the most in Diablo 4. So 
Like the video, guys, if you did enjoy it. Make sure to comment down below uh, if you guys have any questions. Sub if you're new here. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.